Don't right. pick the Bible up and read it. Don't listen to just what a man says. We hear it all the time. Steady to show thyself approve unto God. That means pick up the Bible and read it for yourself. See if we're lying. I don't. If you don't. If, if you don't like the way that the message is delivered, if you don't like the way that we're saying it, that's fine. I don't need you to, to like the way I'm saying it. What I need you to do is go pick up the Bible. See if I'm lying. That's right. See if I'm lying. Try me. See if I'm lying. So don't try. Try God. See if. See what God says. See if God's lying. Read. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. When their baby dies. In their affliction. Or when their mama dies. In their affliction. Or when their son dies. What? In their affliction. Mm -hmm. They will seek me early. That's when we want to see God. That's God, why? God, please don't let my baby die. Why did it happen, God? What's wrong with the community, God? Why a white man go in a store and shoot up 10 people for no reason, God? Why a young man go in a, a school and shoot up 21 people, including 19 babies, God? Why that happen? Because God said what? In their affliction, they will seek me early. That is the only time that we dare to seek God's face. Proverbs 1 and 22. That is the only time that we seek God's face. That is the only time that we are genuinely sorrowful and want change. God knows his people. God knows his people. He knows that his people are hard-headed and stiff-necked and they will only repent or even try to seek God's face when they are suffering. And it has replayed itself time and time and time and time again throughout the ages. Read. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. Read. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? How long will our people go to the Christian church and learn nothing? How long will our people uh, ignore the problems that, that plague their community? How long will we accept men laying down with women and creating baby mothers? How long will we accept gang violence in the, in the projects. How long will we accept living in the projects? How long before we actually wise up and do something different? Right. Read. Now, sis, let me ask you a question, sis. What are some things that we can do to fix our community? What are some things that we can do according to the Bible that will stop gun violence from plaguing our community? Can you help me answer that, sis? Can you help me come to a conclusion according to the Bible? Because we believe in the Bible, sis, right? We believe in the Bible, we believe in Jesus, and we want to fix the community. I, I would assume, right? Black lives matter to us, right, sis? We can agree on that. I, I, I agree. I think black lives matter. I think black boys and black girls and black women and black men matter. So I'm asking you, sis, what are some things that we can do from the Bible that we're about to walk up in the church and read, or not read, that will fix our community? My brother, my sis, what are some things that we can use out of the Bible that stop murder from happening in our communities? Can you help me with that? Can you please help me with that? I'm a young man, I wanna know. My brother, what are some things, we just came out of church, right? What are some things we learned that will stop senseless violence from happening in our communities? What are some things, there was a five month old baby that was shot in the head in Chicago. What can we apply in the Bible that will stop a man from murdering a five month old baby in cold blood and getting away with it? They get in their cars, they walk to the church. They Y'all not learning anything in that dang death house. That's y'all not right. learning anything in there. Yeah, only thing you're learning in there is to hate your people. That is it. You hate your people. Read. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22. That's a dang saying when we can ask, how do we stop babies from being murdered in the community? And our people ignore it. And our people don't But I guarantee if it happens to yours, yeah, you would want to answer, you would want somebody to answer the question. Our people are a bunch of lame, lying hypocrites. That's right. You come out of the church with big giant Bibles in your hands and you ignore the things that are happening in your community. You ignore young men asking you how to fix it. Right. You are hypocrites. That's Can't right. Mention, all of you are not. Some of you probably genuinely care, but most of you do not. My brother on the bike, come deal with me real quick, sir. My, come deal with me real quick. I got you, a martial arts training, bro. You got a what? Martial arts training. This is the best thing you can ever get, sir. Read what you got. Proverbs of the way, verse 22. Read. How long, ye simple ones, uh -huh. will ye love simplicity? The Bible says, how long will our people love simplicity? How long will we love watching our people get oppressed until we actually do something about it? Or do we care that our people are oppressed? As long as it doesn't touch me. That's right. As long as it doesn't touch me. My good sir, with the, I think that's black and white? Yeah. Black and white shirt? M my brother, you just came out of church, right? What are some things that you learned that will help fix the community from senseless gun violence. There was a girl that was five months old that was murdered, shot in the head in Chicago, right? Can we agree that the Bible says thou should not kill? Can we agree to that, sir? Does the Bible say thou should not kill? 
He does, right? So what are some things that we can do? Because we just came out of church. What can we do biblically? What can we agree on biblically that will stop a five-month-old baby from getting shot in the head? Because that's, that's not happening in no other community. That's happening in the black community where we live, where my five-year-old daughter might lose her life to senseless gun violence. So I'm asking, I'm begging, I'm begging my brother, I'm begging my sister, what can we do from the Bible? What solutions does Christ give us, does God give us to fix our communities? Can you help me with that, sir? I can't hear you, sir. I'm sorry, say it one more time. Unity and uplift. Okay, good. How do we uplift each other? What does that mean? Because it's, it's people that uplift our sisters by telling them to twerk in the clubs. But it's that, that, to me, that's not uplifting. But some people call that women empowerment, meaning they're uplifting them. Right? So what does that mean to uplift our people? We don't know, right? <laughs> we don't know. Any, whatever makes you feel good. But God has a clear definition. Get that in uh, Proverbs 1-2. Is that it? Uh, Keep my uh, commandments uh, to that 72? I'm going to show you what it means to uplift our people. Because our people are dying, sir. Every day, all over the place, whether they be young, whether they be old, whether they be 20, whether they be 50, they're dying. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Read. Keep my commandments and live. That's how we uplift our people. The Bible says keep my commandments and what? And live. And live. Read. And my law. And my what? And my law. Read. Has the apple of thine eye. The most precious thing you can have in this world is the commandments of God. Because with the commandments of God, our communities are better. In the 60s, our marriage rate was better than 85%. That means the black man, 85% of the time, married the black woman, had babies, and the community thrived. We had businesses. We had, we had a, a thriving community. Then something happened. Now, our marriage rate is less than 30%. And of that less than 30%, 80% of the marriages fail. And the woman leaves the marriage 80% of the time. So, so st statistics will say we have more. Sis, you got your, your, your uh, thing in the door. Yeah, you might well get one. Right, right, go ahead and take a fly, sis. Go ahead and take a fly. We just showed you some love there, sis. We just showed you some love there, sis. Sis, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, if you're not in a rush, come over here and build with me, sis. I, I have a question. What are some things that will help fix our community? Right, she, she peeled off. But I digress. So at one point in time, we were better than 85% married in our community. Now today, we got more church than ever before. We got churches on every corner in the projects, but our marriage rates are less than 30%. Less than 30%, and our sisters are more likely to divorce their, their husband by 80%. And our children are more likely to grow up in a single parent home and more likely to go to prison as opposed to get a college degree. So with more church, we have more crime, we have more baby mamas, we have less marriages, we have uh, less fathers, we have less righteousness in the community, which says plainly the Christian church has failed the community. That's right. Because the Christian church has told the people, you do not have to keep the commandments of God. The laws are done away with, sir. Christ died, so you don't have to keep the law. But if you read the Bible, it says that Christ did away with animal sacrificial law. Meaning he was the sacrifice. So you don't have to sacrifice bulls and goats and things like that anymore. But thou shalt not uh, kill. Christ didn't do away with that. So when we say that to a murderer, he needs to apply that. But if you tell a murderer, God died for you, therefore you don't have to keep the laws, he's going to murder. And then he's going to wear a big giant cross on his neck in the name of Jesus, murdering people. Read. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Read. Keep my commandments and live. Read. And my law has the apple of thine eye. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. 
These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.